welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button now. And if you like our content, please hit the thumbs up and ring that notification bell so that you get notifications every time we upload a new video. Hope you enjoy. Bye. Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about incubating eggs and growing your own baby chicks. So this is the next step in our process as we continue to grow our farm. We have both meat birds, which are Cornish rocks, and um, layers. And our layers vary by types. So right now we have an overpopulation of roosters and we are trying to rehome our roosters and integrate new hens into the hen house to produce more eggs as we move towards our um, process of getting into the farmer's markets and also opening our own farm stand. So here we're using the Nature 360, and we bought this from Tractor Supply. Really, there are all types of incubators that you can get. Amazon sells a very large um, variety of incubators. We looked around, looked around, looked around. There were some better incubators than the ones we have, but initially I just decided to go on a whim and just get the one from Tractor Supply. So I say all that to say you can get an incubator from Amazon. Um, they do offer some on Walmart's website, but this one came from Tractor Supply. And I like this one because it does have a temperature monitor, a humidity monitor, as well as a candling light on top of the incubator and a rotating plate. So really the only thing you have to do throughout the 21 day process to producing your chickens is to manage the humidity level, which I will tell you a little bit more about that later. It's kind of difficult um, if you don't know what you're doing. So there's a 21 day process to growing chickens in an incubator. Um, and there's also a certain temperature you want to keep your incubator at and as well as a certain humidity level you want to keep your incubator at. So for day one through day 18, you want to keep your temperature at about 99 um, degrees and you want to keep your humidity level at about 50%. Now with the Nurture 360, you can keep it at that um, humidity level by filling up tray A, which you'll be able to see the water tray, and also keeping your ventilated door open halfway. When you get to day 18, you want to transition and now we're transitioning into the um, the hatching phase and I actually call it, you know, active birth because it's when the chicken starts to make its way into the world. It starts to crack the outer shell of the egg and it begins to stretch out so that it can um, eventually open its uh, egg and so those last three days, you want to make sure your humidity level is between um, 65 and 75 um, percent. But um, I actually was able to balance it between 60 and 65 percent. And that gets to what I was talking about with if you don't really know what you're doing, it can be a little bit difficult to balance the humidity levels. Um, you want to keep your ventilated door open all the way on day uh, on your last three days because now you want to make sure your incubator is ventilated enough for um, for your chickens to have optimal uh, conditions to be able to uh, hatch. So um, you want to open your door all the way and then you will start filling tray B with water. So you have tray A and tray B. Um, you'll start filling tray B with water. Keep that door open. And I actually look at my humidity levels four times a day. And the reason why is because um, the humidity levels change. They can change. And if they change out of your optimal range for more than two hours, you can, um, you can lose one of your uh, viable eggs. So you want to make sure you're balancing those humidity levels. And I think with practice, it'll become easier. But it wasn't that easy this go around. So I had to do a lot of monitoring pouring more water in, playing with the ventilation door to make sure I could keep that humidity level um, at the right percentage for our chickens to be born. 
But I say all that to say we were successful. We have five baby chicks hatched right now. We are waiting for the remainder of our baby chicks to hatch. So far, we have only lost one viable egg. Lastly, I want you to understand that when a chicken is coming out of its egg or hatching, um, it takes a long time. It's almost like childbirth at times where um, you have some people who can go into, you know, the doctor go through active birth really quickly and the baby comes and then you have those that may last a lot longer, which was how my kids came. Um, so... I want you to know that if the chicken is struggling to come out of the egg for hours, it is okay as long as the egg is still um, intact and the chicken is continuously progressing. And it may be just a little progress, you know, every couple hours, but the chicken does, just doesn't hit the egg and it cracks and they pop out. Um, so it's better to let them come out on their own unless you see any signs that show that your chicken is in distress and unable to um, get out of the egg on its own. By helping it, you could actually hurt it and cause your chicken to die. Um, so we researched that before we ever started incubating chickens because we didn't want to experience something and not know what to do. I absolutely love hatching the chickens and my kids loved it too. This was a great experience for us. And because we have the space to house these chickens, it's great that we can do 21 eggs at a time. But I encourage you, if you have a smaller coop, definitely scale back on how many eggs you're producing and making sure their living space is conducive for the amount of animals that you're putting in it. Because uh, by overcrowding, you can cause more issues within your flock as well as you can cause issues with production um, due to stress. So have fun. Enjoy being new chicken owners. Enjoy growing your flock. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give us a like. Hit that like button down below. And please subscribe. Bye. If you want to see my review on the Nurture 360 and also um, see a full breakdown of the incubator that we use here, then please like and subscribe and you'll be able to see when we post that video, which will be posted this week.